Okay, this is Block 2, Section 3, the Spanish-American War, Reconcentration Policy. Cuba, a Spanish colony, had begun to rebel against its Spanish overlords. And the Spanish were desperate to hold on to their last great colony in the New World. One of the ways that the Spanish government did to try to break the rebellion in Cuba was to take Cuban peasants and to put them into what they called reconcentration camps. Um, this was to prevent the guerrillas in the woods from having a base of supply, a base of uh, safety, that the Cuban rebels operating against the Spanish government uh, would melt into the villages and they'd be very hard to find. So the Spanish said, okay, we're going to take all the peasants out of their villages, off their farms, and concentrate them um, in areas where we can keep their eyes on them. And to be perfectly frank, the conditions were brutal. Um, sickness was everywhere. There was not enough food. There was not enough clean water. Um, and of course, the American yellow press, always interested in a story that made Spain look bad and made Cuba look good, sent their um, journalists and illustrators to Cuba um, to, to report on this news. And the reconcentration policy uh, that was done by Spain turned the American population further against Spain and further in favor of Cuba. And more and more Americans started to say, hey, let's intervene, let's kick the Spanish out, you know, let's do this for the freedom of the Cuban people. And a lot of people said, hey, let's also do this for American business opportunities. Uh, both motives were definitely there. Um, and this was just another thing the Spanish government did that turned the American public against them.